You know you have the winning hand when you don't have to go to a third grade argument to win. Um, and the arguments are so ludicrous. Um, it's really getting to, I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but I really it is. Look how far, uh, how far the left has to go to, per, per, uh, to paint a conservative as a hate monger. I'm going to show you now something that happened, I think, last night. More people are going to see this clip than has seen this show in a whole year in the next couple of seconds. Here is um, uh, Chris Matthews responding to Michelle Bachman, who had the unmitigated nerve to praise the founders. Watch this. We have to recapture the founders' vision of a constitutionally conservative government if we are to secure the promise for the future. What is this, Michael, the Protestant Re Reformation? <laughs> that somehow we're going back to the purity of the original Christian church. No, no, it's not we're going back to the original perfection of slaveholders and how perfect they were. And government is the enemy. Yeah, government is the enemy. Um, show me the great, great government that, uh, that uh, has been big uh, that hasn't ended up being oppressive. Show them to me, will you? Um, here he is jumping through hoops, and he's ignoring the creation of the greatest country the world has ever seen, ever. He ignores the brilliance of the Constitution, the power of the Declaration of Independence, skips all of that, and declares that Michelle Bachman must have meant that she wants America to return to slavery. I know you are, but what am I? Come on, Chris, please. Let me ask, um, how many are conservatives? Oh my goodness, there's no diversity of thought here. Um, let, me, uh, let me ask you this. How many want to return to slavery? Oh, come on. Surely there's got to be somebody that wants to return to slavery. Okay, we want to return to the founders in the Constitution, but how many want the Constitution without the amendments? You Surely you don't want the amendments. We'll just leave that off if we return to the Constitution. No amendments, right? Who's with me? Isn't one of the amendments that we stop slavery? The only one that I would like to overturn is the IRS one. <laughs> but still, you wouldn't, how would you, how would you do that? If you wanted to change the Constitution, how would you do that? Can anybody tell me? Go ahead, tell me. The Constitutional Convention, where you have three quarters of the states ask for it. You don't want the Constitutional Convention because that will open everything up. up. Or you have or two thirds of Congress and then it goes three quarters, three three-fourths of the state legislature. Okay, so you want to overturn, this is what it would take under our Constitution, if you wanted to return to slavery, which is an absurd idea, and everybody except, I don't know why Michael Steele was laughing at that, everybody um, who's watching that, who has an honest heart, knows there's nobody that wants to return to slavery. You would have to go, get a bill drafted, get it through Congress, get it through all of the states, Come on, that's not going to happen. George Soros couldn't make that happen. So what is that all about? What is that clip really about? It's vilifying. Go ahead. It's a very common tactic. It's vilifying the messenger and, and making them uh, seem as if they're ludicrous or they're racist and delegitimizing them rather than the message or the policy that's being advocated. Right. So listen, when... Uh, we showed this clip last night, another clip like this, about Rick Perry, where they said, I don't even know what he's, uh, what? Uh, Self-reliance? What? I mean, the, the things that we have always, every president, every party on both sides, of, we've said, both the Republicans and the Democrats both say it, we're like, they're lying to us, they don't believe that. But they've always said it, now they're not even saying it. It's not only doing a Sarah Palin to Michelle Bachman. It's immediately labeling her a racist. She wants slavery, which is ridiculous. But it's one other thing. We'll get to that next.